there, pals and friends. I'm Spotted Turtle. This is my friend Swift Arrow and my friend Ganga Bear, and we are the Y Guides team. Y Guides is a program for dads and kids here in the Triangle area where you get to spend time together and focus on strengthening your relationship. We've got a fun activity for you today. I'm going to kick it over to Swift Arrow. Hey y'all, today we are going to be getting energetic, so get ready. Today we are going to be doing the 52 card workout. So the way that works is all you need is a deck of cards like my friend Ganga Bear has. And every time you pull a random card, you're going to do a workout associated with it. So right here we've got our cheat sheet. So if you pull a heart, you're going to do jumping jacks. If you pull a clover, you are going to do push-ups. If you pull a diamond, we're going to be doing some lunges. And then if you pull a spade, we're going to be doing some high knees. Now when you pull that, whatever number you see, that is the number of exercises that you're going to do. For example, if you pull the four of hearts, you're going to be doing four jumping jacks. If you pull a jack, a queen, a king, or an ace, they are all ten. All right, so let's get started. Ganga Bear, what are we doing first? All right, Swift Arrow Spotted Turtle, what I have here is the three of spades. So what we're going to do is just three high knees. That sounds pretty easy. Maybe one on each side. One, two is three. It's a total of six. Let's do it. All right, sounds Ready. good. Ready? One, one two, three. Awesome. Great. All right, you're next, Spotted Turtle. Yes. All right. Next up. I think it's the same one that he picked, so I'm going to pick another one. We've got the three of hearts. I love that we're drawing threes. We're going to do three jumping jacks. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. All right, Swift Arrow, what's next? All right, up next we've got, we've got the ace of diamonds. So we're going to be doing ten lunges, so that's five on each side. Let's do that. One. shakers. So that could be some egg shakers. You can fill some Easter eggs with some rice and take that up. You can put rice in a Tupperware or you could use a vitamin bottle, anything like that, as long as it's kid proof. And we're going to have a shaker activity in a little bit. So go take those or find those and meet me back and we're going to sing. All right, so let's get warmed up today. Oh, 
Welcome to Wissalana Farm. I'm Ronnie. This is my wife, Diane, or Farmer Ronnie and Farmer Diane, as some people might know us. Uh, we're here at Wissalana Farm with the alpacas and the chickens. We're glad that y'all are here with us, and we hope y'all have a wonderful night. And maybe you'll learn a few things about alpacas while we're here. Alpacas are originally from South America. They live in the Andes Mountains, up in Peru. They love the cold weather. They really don't care for the hot weather very much because they wear a big coat all the time. An alpaca will live 14 to 20 years and they are a modified ruminant. Now you may not know what a ruminant is, but how many stomachs do you have? Just one? Well, a cow, which is a ruminant, has four stomachs and an alpaca is a modified ruminant. They have three stomachs, so they will eat, bring their food back up, chew it again, and then take it to a different compartment in their stomach. They can't get too much grain because that could make them sick. They love grass and hay, and that's what they eat most of. Hello there, my name is Princess Leah. I'm here at Read With Me, a children's book and art store. I am in downtown Raleigh, and I'll be reading a book for you today. My first book will be When I Was a Fairy by Tom Sussman. When I Was a Fairy by Tom Sills. When I was a fairy, I used to drive a dragon farm. We'd whiz through the forest, skim across the stream. When I was a fairy, I'd chase stars across the night sky. But back when I was a fairy, now it feels like a dream. I remember the days when I sang with the fish shallows. I looped over the lily pads, swung between the vines. When I with a wand in my hand, I knew fear could not follow. But back when I was a fairy, what a magical time. When I was a fairy, I lived in an ancient villa inside a homely hollow with a round red door. When I was a fairy, I slept on a dandelion of pillows. Back when I was a fairy, do you want to hear more? I remember slow summers meandering through the meadows. Days dripping by like honey, spending time with bees. Lazy rambles through brambles, not caring where time goes. Gathering bulging blackberries and the warm evening breeze. When I was a fairy, I used to dance on daffodils. I'd bounce on blueberries more often than not. I'd scale lofty heights 
by my mountains, where more hills, back when I was a baby, I almost forgot. I remember when all the fairies came together, sharing letters from children, so our travels lived on. From all corners we gathered, in bright fields of feathers, back when I was a fairy, where has the time gone? When I was a fairy, I skated on snowflakes. I paint the holly bush berries a bright red hue. I left dust stains on footprints in the shivering landscape back when I was a fairy before I met you. I wish you could have seen me as I flew through the flowers, leaving trails of scattered seeds as if they'd been sown. I wish you could have seen me, all my fairy powers, looking as I do now, would never know. You'd never know. When I was a fairy, I went where the wind blew, exploring the world for stories untold. When I was a fairy, there was nothing I could not do back when I was a fairy before I grew old. But now I'm a grandma. You are a fairy. You are the one with the wings in the wind. You are the one braving all that is scary. Perhaps now and then you could bring me along. There's amazing adventures yet to be discovered, wild places of color that dazzle the eye. When I am with you, forgotten things are uncovered. The moonlight is brighter when you are nearby. Let me show you the secrets of paddling in puddles. You can go to the whispering notes for our tea. Let me teach you how to blow giant rainbow bubbles. So clap your hands, flap your wings, and come fly with me. Hey pals and friends, Ganga Bear here, spotted turtle behind me and to my left, switch arrow behind me and to my right, and we are the Y Guys team back for some more fun. This time we want to lead y'all in a song. Now you'll see that this song requires some motions and also some singing, as most songs do. And it's called Chili Chili, and this is a catch along song. So catch along! Hands up, Chili Chili. Chili, 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 hands down, chili, 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 turn around, chili, 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 touch the ground, chili, 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 chili. Hey, Gango Bear, don't be afraid, show us how you boomerang. A boomerang, chili, chili. Chili, 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 boomerang, chili, 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 hands up, chili, 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 hands down, chili, 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 turn around, chili, 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 touch the ground, chili, 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 hey, Sithero, don't be afraid. Show us how you boomerang. A boomerang, chili, 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 boomerang, chili, 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 chili. Hands up, chili, 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 hands down, chili, 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 turn around, chili, chili. Chili, 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 touch the ground. Chili, 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 chili. Hey, spotted turtle, don't be afraid. Show us how you boomerang. Boomerang, chili, 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 boomerang. Chili, 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 chili. So you can go and take that song. You can do that an infinite number of times with you <laughs> and your family and friends at home. We can't wait to see what versions you come up with of Hands Up Chili Chili. We'll see y'all soon. Have a good one. Tupperware, and we're going to sing a silly song called Bitty Bitty. First, let's do 
Let's see if your shaker's working. Can you try this with me? La, 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 la. Try your left ear. Shake, 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 shake. Can you hear them? And your right ear. Shake, 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 shake. And on your head. Ow, 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 ow. And try eating them. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> awesome. I bet you heard them shaking. Try this with me. Bitty bitty bum 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 bitty bitty bum bum ba dum ba dum bitty bitty bum 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 bitty bitty bum bum ba dum ba dum bitty bitty bum 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 bitty bitty bum bum ba dum ba dum bitty bitty bum 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 bitty bitty bum bum ba dum ba dum a bitty bitty bum 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 bitty bitty bum bum ba dum ba dum bitty bitty bum 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 bitty bitty bum bum ba dum ba dum can you make it disappear la 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 Try it on the floor. vocables like la 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 and do 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 it is easier to learn the melody of the song so try that at home take out some of the words and just do 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 or ba 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 on the song and see if you can learn it better see if your child can learn it okay all right did you know that all children are musical and can achieve basic music competence so with the right environment they can learn how to keep a steady beat and sing in tune even by the age of five and so my job as a music educator is to teach you at home how to create that musical environment. So that's what we do in our classes and I hope you'll join me someday uh, in music together at Sprout Songs Music. Hey boys and girls, do you know why chickens lay eggs? Because if they drop them, they break. Did you know a chicken will not lay an egg in the dark? If it gets too dark for them and it's time for them to lay their egg, they'll do what's called clutching and they'll hold that egg until the next morning and then they lay it. The reason they do that is to make sure that predators don't eat their eggs and they can raise their young. Did you know that eggs come in five different colors? There are brown and white, blue, green, even pink. These are some of the eggs that we got here at the farm. These are a little green and these are a little blue. You can get lighter or darker eggs. And then you see how much smaller this one is compared to this one. Well, these come from the same types of chickens. It has to do with the age. When chickens first start laying eggs, they start out laying small eggs. And as the chickens get older, their eggs get bigger.
Hello there again, it's Princess Leah. I'll be reading you another book, and this one is called Dragons Are the Worst by Alex Willen. Dragons Are the Worst by Alex Willen. You know, we goblins have been around for ages. There was a time when our magical misdeeds were taken seriously, even feared. But lately it seems like everyone is only concerned about one thing. Dragons! Now I know what you're going to say. Dragons are so scary, yada yada yada. But lots of magical creatures are scary like ogres and trolls and of course, goblins. I know spells that can make you shoe make your shoelaces untie. I can turn candy into spider, and I perfected my terrifying pigeon costume. But it does. But does anyone run in fear from my magical might? Fear me! Aw, uh, aren't you just the cutest? Why? an adorable little goblin. But if a dragon even so much as flies past, everyone is instantly terrified. Oh no, a big scary dragon is flying past. I'm instantly terrified. So what I've never trapped a king inside a tall tower, get back here. Or hoarded all the gold in the kingdom, get back here. And it's true I may have run from a dragon or two in the past, but in my defense, they caught me by surprise. When you think about it, dragons aren't even that scary. Sure, they can breathe fire, but all the hot breaths make, all the hot breaths make eating ice cream nearly impossible. Having all those sharp teeth just makes it take forever to floss. It's good luck finding a hat that fits when you have a big spiky horn. Dragons may be covered in scales, but so are mermaids, and yet you don't see anyone fleeing in fear from a mermaid. In my defense, that trident looked very pointy. And so what if dragons can soar the skies? So can pigeons. And if you think pigeons poop can make a mess, don't even get me started on dragons. Poop. Oh look, some brave knights. No doubt, some epic quest to capture some big scary dragon. Dragons get all the quest. Where are my quest? Fear me! I did it, I scared them off. I mean, of course I did it. Like I said, goblins are just as scary as any of those silly dragons. Like I told you, dragons aren't so scary. They're lucky they've got me around to chase away any pesky knights. And it turns out ice cream soup isn't so bad once you get used to it. And look at that, proof of how scary goblins are. My very own warning poster. Maybe now people will start taking me more seriously around here. Beware the smell, super stinky goblin. Nose holding strongly recommended. The end. Hey pals and friends, Swift Arrow here with the Y Guides team. I've got my friend Spotted Turtle and my friend Ganga Bear. And right now we are gonna do an at-home scavenger hunt called Go Get It. So the way it works is I'm gonna call out a random object that you have at your house and you're gonna go get it. So my friends right here are gonna help us out with that. So let's see. First up, your shoe. Who can find your shoe the quickest? I got it. Ah, way to go, spotted turtle. Got your <laughs> no, yeah. Okay, so for this next one, let's see. Let's do something sticky. Something sticky at your house. Oh, 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 oh. oh, way to go, Ganga Bear. Mickey Mo, <laughs> Post-it notes, that'll and work. And tape. some tape. Way to go, y'all. All right, let's see our next one. How about something to write with? Who can find something to write with the quickest? Maybe a pen, maybe a pencil, maybe even a highlighter. There Marker. we go. 
Spotted Turtles got it, and Ganga Bears Woo! got it. All right, let's see. Let's do one more, and then y'all can play on your own at home. How about something to read? Something that you can read at home. Get a book. Ooh, there a we book. go. We got two books. Woo! Way to go. All right, so remember, at home, all you have to do is have one person stationary, and they get to call out random objects around the house, and everybody else runs out trying to find them the quickest. So now, you get to play at home. We'll see you next time. This is Stanley and Malachi. They're two of our boy alpacas. Now, alpacas, camels, and llamas all are part of the camelid family, so they're all in the camel family. Camels are used to tote heavy things across the desert. Llamas are used to pack heavy things across mountains, and alpacas are used mostly for their fiber. Did you know that each alpaca will produce between five and 10 pounds of fiber a year, and you only shear them one time a year, generally in the spring, so they'll be cool for the summer. If you look at the alpaca's feet, you'll see that they got two big toenails. They actually have a soft pad on the bottom, just like your dogs do, and then they have two toenails. And we have to trim their toenails because up in the mountains, they walk on rocks and keep them ground off. But here, we have to do it for them. So they count on us to work with their toenails and their shots. And sometimes we might even have to take them uh, to the alpaca dentist and let them work on his teeth a little bit. Malachi won't eat out of your hand. He's afraid of everything. He's very skittish, so you have to be very careful with him. See? Domingo was born in Tennessee, and when he was a young alpaca, he used to serve as a therapy animal at a VA hospital. He loves people, but he's also kind of a pig when it comes to the other alpacas, so we have to feed him a little slower than we do the other girls. When he and Faith came to live with us about four years ago, we went down to see uh, if they would fit on the farm, and they looked like they'd be a good fit, but we realized we didn't have any way to transport them. So we borrowed a friend's minivan, we took the back seat out, we laid a tarp down, and we laid two alpacas in the back of their minivan and drove them home. The alpacas laid down, they didn't make any noise, and they didn't make any mess. I'd take them on a trip anytime they want to go. So alpacas talk in three different ways, but the way they communicate like we do, just talking like we are right now, they hum and they grunt. You might have heard a little bit while ago, but did you know that you can talk like an alpaca? Well, you can. Let me show you. I'm going to ask you three questions, and I want you to only answer in hums, okay? So one, if you taste something that tastes really, really good, what do you say? Mmm. That's right. And what if you taste something that's really, really bad? Mmm. Well, what if something really surprises you? Mmm. See, you're talking just like an alpaca. For our last song, we're going to sing goodbye. It was so great singing with you today, and I hope that you will keep on singing and dancing and playing with your pots and pans or instruments at home. All right, friends, are you ready? Can you pat with me? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and rock your body. One, two, three, keep it tapping, keep it rocking, you got it.
booga, 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 booga. Hope to see you sometime. Bye, bye.